What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the channel for a video that I already made once. Let me explain. So a little while ago, I made a video on the channel about my settings that I use to actually stream, uh, you know, all of my streams and broadcasts to you guys out there when I stream on YouTube and Twitch, uh, that all these different settings that I use in OBS, the open broadcaster studio that I've been using. So I actually just made another video on that, you know, fully explaining my settings that I use to beef up the sound in my microphone. So I gave that its own video because, you know, I kept getting asked after I made that j big, long, lengthy video of all my settings, I kept still getting asked about my audio. And another thing that I keep getting asked about is all of my video settings and what I actually use as my webcam because people notice it's not actually a webcam it's a full-blown camera so we're gonna go into that camera all of my settings and how I set it up today in this video right after a word from today's sponsor me all right visuals merch is finally here fam we have partnered up with streamerware.com to bring you some really awesome and high quality threads with your favorite RA Visuals logo on them. We have hats, shirts, pullovers, hoodies, heck, we even have coasters for your coffee mug if you want. I've also included an alternate logo version that you can get every item in as well, so be sure to check that out. Of course, everything you grab supports the channel and helps me keep making more content for you guys to enjoy. So head over to streamerware.com and check out my collection using the merch link in the description and cop some fresh new gear to show off to your friends. All right, guys, so starting things off, let's talk about the setup. So essentially, it's very simple. It's basically just a tripod, a camera and lens, a battery that lets you run it, you know, indefinitely, and then a pass through with an HDMI cable. So that's really all it is. So first things first, let's get started with the tripod. So the tripod I use for this purpose is a tripod from Manfrotto and it's pretty basic. I got it from Best Buy like forever ago. It's adjustable on the feet. It has a adjustable ball head and everything like that. So you can twist it and turn it to the exact position that you want to get yourself in the right angle. Now let's talk about the part that I know you guys all want to hear about the camera. The camera we're going to be using for this purpose is the Sony a6000. So this camera can shoot 1080p 60 FPS video. So it's perfect because we can actually use it to pass through through HDMI and output it to OBS and give us a really awesome looking picture. These cameras actually come in at a really ridiculous price right now, new, but if you search the used options on Amazon, you can actually find them for easily under $500 or even under $400, which is right where you want to be with this camera. Now, why didn't I choose my A6500, which I also own? This camera seems to suffer really badly from the overheating issue that some of these have, and I uh, just didn't really want to have to deal with that on stream all the time. And now to make sure that we can run our camera for the entire stream and it will never turn off on us, you basically just need to buy this Sony dummy battery with an extension cable to plug it into your wall. With this, you'll never have to worry about replacing any batteries, and you'll never have to worry about your camera shutting off on you midstream. And now to pass the video signal from the camera to my PC, I'm using the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. And now you can use a variety of different things like even like a cam link from Elgato to do this, but this is just my weapon of choice for this situation. And basically all we gotta do is connect an HDMI cable to the camera, which is a micro HDMI actually, and then connect the other end to the Live Gamer Portable and then use the USB from that and connect it to our computer. And now our Sony a6000 we're using is an interchangeable changeable lens camera. So unlike webcams, you actually need to get a lens for this camera unless you bought it with the kit lens. You can just use that. But if you want to buy a lens separately, there's a variety of different choices. But my weapon of choice here is the Sigma 16 millimeter F 1.4 lens for its awesome ability to bring crisp, clear visuals to your picture and its ability to work very well in low light situations. So now that we have all the gear out of the way, all you got to do is plug the camera into the wall turn it on and make sure that it is in manual or movie mode. And once you turn it on, you'll notice that it gives you this little black screen and does this. All you gotta do is quickly take your finger and depress the shutter button real quick and it'll bypass that screen and take you right to the live view screen. One more thing of note here, if you don't want to show all of your different camera settings on your screen, look at this option right here and make sure it's turned off. What I'm about to show you has it turned on, so if you don't want that to happen during your stream, make sure this is turned off. All right, guys, so now that we are over on my computer, I can actually kind of show you guys this display here and show you my settings and actually explain to you why I'm using them. 
So basically the first thing, like I was saying before, what I need you guys to make sure that you are doing is that you are in manual mode in the camera. So that is up right there in that top, well, yep, top left corner. This is very awkward because I'm the other way. Anyway, just make sure you guys are in manual or movie mode and that way you guys can adjust all these settings like I was telling you before. So uh, once you guys are in that, you guys will see that uh, up here, you can check it out. We are shooting in 60 frames a second um, and 1080p because uh, this is the, that's the max that this um, camera, the Sony a6000 can shoot at. It shoots at 1080p, 60 FPS. And I mean, guys, this is basically what you guys will want to be shooting at if you're going to be using this kind of setup as a face cam and stuff like that it's super high quality especially when you shrink it down to make it a little bit smaller um it looks great on screen and uh, i've had nothing but compliments about it so um yep we're going to be shooting at 1080p 60 fps you can see it's set right there and now i want you guys to take a look over here and this is autofocus continuous and now that setting is so that uh no matter what you're doing you're moving around and stuff like that um it'll continue to autofocus on you no matter where you move to so the tracking will do it and then you can see this little box that's around my face right here as well you guys can see right there it is on and that is because of that continuous autofocus and you'll see that it yep it tracks my face everywhere and then you'll also see that right here our focus mode is wide so that way it's got a wider spot to actually check for focus and then yeah you'll see that box pop up every once in a while while i have this display up obviously when you guys do not have the, the display on like i told you to do earlier uh none of this will show you guys won't see any of that on screen so don't worry about that and then as far as the actual camera settings now i want to preface this before i get into it real quick but these camera settings are subjective okay and this is basically what i use for my setting here so uh, this all depends on your background, your lighting, all that kind of stuff. And don't you guys worry, we will cover lighting in another video. I already plan to do that. So if you guys want to make sure you're here for that, make sure you guys get subscribed so you can check that out. But uh, so yeah, lighting comes into play with all this kind of stuff because basically all these settings you see down here are dependent on the lighting situation. So with my lighting situation, I have a key light right there in front of me and then as you guys can see I got my computer behind me casting some light I have my other uh, softbox light back here that I normally record my videos with casting kind of like a backlight a fill light and then as you guys can see I have my um, LEDs back here that it's on my uh, stand back there and then I also have my I can't get my finger right hold on it's back this thing right there I have that little LED thing casting some light on the background right there and I do that to try to separate myself from my background so I'll get into that more in a lighting video but that's just a quick overview of why I do that but anyway um, so yeah in these settings right here we're going to be shooting at 1 1 25th and the reason for that is that is the shutter speed by the way and the reason we're doing that is because again we're shooting at 60 frames a second so there's this little thing in photography and videography called the 180 degree rule and basically it's the simplest way i can explain it is whatever your fps you're shooting at is you double your shutter speed so basically the closest thing we don't have 120 on this camera so 125 is the closest thing and what that does is it gives you the most realistic looking motion blur when you're doing stuff like this so if i was to make the i've already covered this in another video i did with like nd filters and stuff on the channel so check that out if you guys are interested but uh basically if i was to make that shutter speed different uh for the frame we were shooting at you guys would see a lot different looking blur i'd either be too fast or be too choppy and stuff like that but if you match it up the way i told you right there you'll make it look really nice and natural like it's supposed to anyway so moving on our f-stop right here we got an f 2.2 again this is dependent on how much background uh, blur you want and then how much or shallow depth of field and then how much light you want to actually let into your lens to brighten up your lighting situation so um, this lens that I'm shooting at the Sigma um, 16 mil can actually go all the way down to a 1.4 or can open up all the way to a 1.4 so if I was needing more light I could do that but uh, for my situation right here f 2.2 looks good to me and I like it to keep it there so obviously for your guys situation it may be a little different but that's what I use and then 
The next thing we need to look at over here is the ISO. So I'm using ISO 400, and that is basically just to uh, brighten up the image a bit, just to make it actually look a little bit brighter and not so dark. Um, and again, all these settings, again, they're subjective. They can be switched around, but for the current setup I'm showing you, this is what I use with my lighting situation. And then basically I use, as far as my color temperature, I always set it to what my lights are, like my main key light is. So my main key light is at 5600K right now, or 5600 Kelvin, and that is what I set my white balance to. So if you do not do that and you leave your camera on auto white balance, what you're gonna see a lot is your skin tones and stuff like that they'll either be warm or cool depending on how where you move and stuff like in different light like especially if you have rgb light like i do in the back you'll notice your skin tones will like shift in color and stuff like that and that is because your white balance is set to auto so it basically adjusts for whatever light the camera sees so it's very crucial if you do stuff like this in manual mode like i told you set that that white balance make sure that it is set to what your key lights are so again my light in front of me and the one back here that's casting regular, you know, daylight. They're set to 5600 Kelvin. And honestly, guys, that's really all there is to it. Uh, that's basically what I set my camera to do. And all I got to do basically at this point is, like I said, turn the camera on and then uh, start streaming. And then it looks like this every time. So I kind of got it set to a, uh, a little little spot where I really like it. Um, I may change it and mess around with it uh, at a different time, you know, if I change my office and stuff like that. But uh, for right now, in my lighting situation, I use this thing works. So uh, definitely tell me what you guys think of it down in the comments below. And and uh, if you guys would consider, you know, doing something similar. All right, everyone, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found it informative and maybe hopefully you learned something. And if you did, go ahead and leave the video a like. I really do appreciate that and it helps out the channel a ton. It helps out with that algorithm. You guys know what I'm talking about. And if you guys really do enjoy my videos and you want to see more and you want to keep updated with all the videos I'm putting out like this one or some of the other content I put out on my channel, make sure you guys get subscribed with those notifications on. That way you don't miss any more uploads or uh, new streams that I'm going to be coming out with in the future because I got a lot more stuff coming at you guys very soon. But until the next one, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.